in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to compile the newly released 4.27.2 build with Chaos. So this is going to work for, well, it should be fine for 4.26, as well as this will be fine for 4.27, because obviously that's the version we're on. So the first thing you're going to have to do to get access to the source build is to actually link your GitHub account to Epic Games through GitHub. Now, if you search my channel, I have a previous video that actually goes into depth on doing that, where we build 4.25 or 4.26, I don't remember what engine, just as a normal build. So again, this one's going to be focused on actually building with Chaos and getting your project up and running with the newly built engine. Because I know I've had a problem with this, and thankfully, due, thanks to some help from another person, they have allowed me to resolve it to see what I was doing wrong. Because if you refer to the uh, actual page, let me bring it up. If you refer to this page here, where it actually goes through, you know, tells you to download the Unreal Engine source build, and then set these settings and all that kind of stuff, you're going to end up with some problems because one, we no longer can use unique. We have to make sure we set our build environment to be shared and just small stuff like that. But the problem is if we set it to be shared and we go to convert an already existing project to use the new source build that we just made, even if they're on the same 4.27 engine version, there's going to be some problems and it's not going to let you even compile. So that's what I'm going to show you at the end after we get this build compiled. So to begin, after you have your account linked, you're going to want to go to the Epic Games GitHub account, go to Unreal Engine, then make sure you're at release to get the latest build. So as you can see here, I'm on 4.27.2, and all I have to do is go to code, either download the zip or open with GitHub Desktop. So in your case, most likely, you just want to hit download zip, or if you have Git Bash and all that kind of stuff set up, here's the link to use that. I have mine right here on my desktop, and I would recommend you actually put it here as well, because if we open the folder, when we run setup.bat or generate project files.bat, I don't remember which one it was, but if we have it, the folder and everything inside of a super long directory, we're going to end up with some problems as it's going to complain just due to the overall path length is too long, and it's going to cause you, it's just going to cause it to fail. So I put it on your desktop. First thing that you want to do is you're going to want to run setup.bat or the corresponding setup shell script. So I always run setup.bat, and this is going to take anywhere from 5 to 15 minutes, depending on your download speed and just how long everything takes as it, just as a whole. But basically it'll launch the command prompt window, and once that window closes, that'll tell you that it is finished. Once it has been finished, you're going to want to run generate project files.bat or the corresponding shell script command, and it's going to do the same thing. However, this will only take just a matter of minutes. Then once that's done, you will have a ue4.sln solution that you can open in Visual Studio. Don't open that just yet, because we're going to actually move this to a directory that we wish to actually have it finally be put in. Okay, so I'm in my Epic Games folder, and this is where I want to put the new engine. So here you can see I actually have already done this, but basically all you have to do is just click and drag in here. So this is going to be just your final destination. So wherever you want to put it, go ahead and move your Unreal Engine folder before you open it up in Visual Studio or anything like that and try to compile. So click and drag it, move it over. Then once you've done that, you're going to want to go ahead and rename it to something that makes a little bit more sense. So I follow along with the same naming scheme. I just do UE underscore 4.27, so the major version, then 0.2 being the minor version, and let me know that it's a source build by adding underscore source to the very end. Once that's done, open it up, and you're going to want to launch the UE4.SLN. So launch the solution in either Visual Studio or Writer. So in my case, I'm going to do Writer. However, it is the exact same process for Visual Studio. Once that's open and you're good to go, let me actually revert that back. You're going to have to, for starters, in Visual Studio, you're going to have a list of tabs up here, which is going to look just like this. But they're going to be over here off to the left-hand side if you're not familiar. And if your UE4, where it says UE4, says something else like build agent or build tool or, yeah, like Unreal build tool or something like that, you're going to want to make sure you right-click on your project. And somewhere down in here, you will see set as startup project. And it's going to be about a quarter of the way down. Then once you select that, this will switch to say UE4. After that, 
you're going to want to confirm that you're on the development editor. So if we come down here and we find development editor, which it should be by default, you're going to want to make sure you select development editor. And then you're going to also have an option for the type. So you're going to want to select also Win64. Then once that's done, we want to go to engine, UV4, source, and open the uv 4 editortargetcs Once in here, I'm going to go ahead and actually bring up the uh, example that it provides for us because that is actually incorrect. Okay, so if you follow along with the example, you know, link your GitHub account, download it, then it's going to have you open the file we just opened. However, it's going to tell you to change your target build environment to be unique. You're going to want to leave that as shared. So you're going to want to leave that as default. However, everything else you're going to want to follow. So you're going to want to set B compile chaos to true and B use chaos to true. So we're going to set B compile chaos equal to true and B use chaos equal to true as well. Then once that's done, we're going to go ahead and go to our UE4 solution, right click and hit build selected projects. And this is going to take quite a while. I don't even know if, I hope my mic's not cutting out or anything like that, but I'll show you here in a second once it gets scrolling. Okay, so hopefully you can hear me okay. But basically, you should have, probably mine just says 3600 because it's obviously a lot smaller. I've already had this built. But in your case, yours is most likely at the first time going to build something along the lines of 80 or so different files. Then it's going to have to go through and link and compile around, I think it's like 4,700 or something like that. So it's going to take a while, but like I said, this is going to probably take anywhere from 15 minutes all the way up to over an hour, depending on your system. So I will see you when this is done. Alrighty. So once everything's done compiling, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and actually launch the UE4 editor. Now this is going to take a little bit, but give it some time and it'll finally appear. Alrighty, and once it has now been opened, you would probably see that it is compiling shaders. I would highly recommend that you wait for it to actually finish before you do anything else. But once it's done compiling shaders, you're good to go to go ahead and close it. And now you basically have a source build that has chaos enabled that you can go ahead and use. So if you want to start up, you know, your own project or create, I mean, let me rephrase that, create a new project using this build, you would like you would any other engine. So the problem lies with if you want to actually go ahead and convert an existing project to use the new source build. So in my case here, I have this example project and the build that it's on right now is 4.27. So this is the uh, default installer build. So from the UE4 or the Epic Games launcher here. So that's what it's on right now. I'm going to go ahead and change it to 4.27.2 source. And then press OK. Now, this will probably take sub 30 seconds to a minute, give or take. All right. Then once that's done, you're going to want to go ahead. Well, let me rephrase that. This is going to cause the build to fail. So we've switched the ended version. Let's go ahead and compile and just see what happens. In your case, if you don't want to, you don't have to do this. But you can see here as basically the error. Hopefully that's I can't zoom in here. But what it says is. Project name editor modifies the values of B compile chaos. This is not allowed as example project editor has build products in common with UE4 editor. So basically, we now can no longer compile and launch our project. So to resolve that, what we have to do is come down to our project name, go to source, and you will have three, well, in my case, two, but you may have a third here. So project name.target.cs, project name editor.target.cs, and project name server.target.cs. If you have that, you're going to want to do the same thing to the server.target.cs that you're doing to these two. So to begin, let's open up our project name.target.cs and we're going to add the exact same information. So b compile chaos equals true and b use chaos equals true. And then we have to add one more. So that's going to be b override build environment equals true. Once we have those three, let's go ahead and copy and paste it into the other remaining target.cs files, just like so. Then once that's done, let's go ahead and build again. Alrighty, once that's done, you will have build succeeded. 
then we can go ahead and launch our project. Alrighty, once in the project, if we go here to modes, you will see we now have the new section for fracturing. And if we go to settings, plugins, and search for chaos, you will see by default, we now have basically everything we need in here enabled. So what we're going to reference this with is the actual page that I brought up before for setting up chaos destruction. So what I'm going to do is double check and make sure all the plugins are in fact enabled. So uh, I'll actually make that full screen and I'll just shrink this guy. So we'll just do something like this. Okay, so chaos editor, chaos editor, chaos solver, chaos solver, chaos Niagara, chaos Niagara. Then we need planner cut, which we have, editable mesh, which we have, geometry, which we have, geometry cache, which we have, and then finally, field system which is currently disabled, so let's go ahead and enable that. And it's stating that's beta, we're going to hit true, and then restart. So we should be good to go. So after this, you can pretty much follow along with everything else related inside the Fracture Editor, or just going up and setting up your Chaos Destruction, or really anything related to Chaos that you want, because you now have a engine and a project set to use it. So. After this, I'm going to go ahead and set up a fresh project and show you how to do that as well. Okay, so in order to start up a new project again using source build, what you're going to want to do is just open the ue4.sln, so the solution we had before, and you can go ahead and just hit run. The other option is if we go to engine, binaries, 164, we can scroll down until we get to the ue4 editor section here and find the UE4 editor application, so .exe, and we can launch it that way as well. So what I'm going to do is just launch it like I'm showing you right here, and we're going to start up a new project in the same manner that we would anything else. So I'm going to go to games, and I will just create a blank example test, or example chaos test. And I'll set mine as a C++ project, because Blueprint seems to work just out of the box. And I'm just going to go ahead and confirm that there's no problems. So we'll find out here in a bit. All right, so it opened up in Visual Studio, and immediately we're met with, there were build errors, would you like to continue and run the latest build? So we're going to hit no. And then that makes me assume that we're going to have to do the exact same thing that we did before. Unfortunately, Visual Studio is, thankfully, it's a lot faster, but yeah, you can see right here, we have the same error. So what we have to do is, again, just like before, go to our games, go to our project, drop down source, and open all of our target.cs files. Then, once we're inside of there, we add the same information that we have where, nope, that is the source. So that we had in the other one, which was, B compile chaos equals true, B use chaos equals true, and if you can recall, let me go ahead and load that back up really quick. We also had B override build environment equals true as well, just like that. So we're going to copy those. And paste them into both target.cs files, or in your case, you may have a third depending on your situation. After that, we can go ahead and launch with the local Windows debugger and get everything rolling. Alrighty, so mine just finished launching and compiling, and we are good to go. So it just went through, it built its shaders, and we now have our new project opened up using, again, Chaos. So that pretty much wraps up everything you need to know in regards to building the source build with Chaos, because if you recall correctly, the current guide that you will find on both the forum and the documentation is just not correct. So again, the current guide does everything the same way, has you to open the build.target.cs, and it asks you to set your build environment to target build environment.unique. That must stay shared, which it is now by default. These two are correct. And then we also, because we are setting it to be shared, or by default still shared, we must add 
this line specifically. So if we used just b compile chaos and b use chaos, we would run into the same problem that we had before. So that's what we must set b override build environment to true in order to over, well, as it states, to override that. So anyways, that pretty much wraps everything up. This should be your complete guide to building Unreal Engine via source to use with chaos. So that goes for both new projects and existing projects. So I hope you enjoyed. If you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon in the description below, where I have a Team Deathmatch series just for Patrons using Unreal Engine with C++. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord that is also linked down below, and I will try to help you out. So, I will see you in the next video.